Hello, my name is Mark Scott from London, UK, and I'm going to give you a quick lesson today on how to record your audio with your digital audio workstations. For this example, I am using Logic Pro 9, but basically all DAWs have similar ways of doing the setting up of projects and recording audio tracks, and you just need to learn the minute differences between these different platforms. Firstly, we need to start the software and then create a new project. We have a number of options for the project in Logic, but for today, we're just going to concentrate on opening an empty project. Now, the first thing that we do is create a new track for our song. And this can be set up in multiple channel layers right here. Um, so you can have your multi-track recording um, and also to add uh, multiple instrument types or audio channels. Uh, for this one, all we're going to do is add a single audio track um, and we're going to use an input audio from a guitar. You can add a single track in now and also um, add multiple tracks in as and when you need to actually add in extra tracks as you go. Uh, you can select here the, or the mono as you saw um, or the stereo depending on your input source and also your input and output sources on your devices. We do also have a tab at the side which contains a lot of the audio properties that we can easily get to. It's recommended that we also rename our tracks as we go. Uh, this is usually um, a meaningful name for us. Uh, in this case, I've named it Guitar One. And then we can save out our entire project. Um, and again, we need to give this a meaningful name. These names uh, help to track everything through. So when you're looking at the individual file names, you haven't got track one, track two, and you've no idea what instruments they are. And it also makes it a lot easier to track through um, and import uh, specific tracks into multiple uh, uh, project files um, as you go. And here, um, we're just giving this uh, a folder name distinct for this particular project and then giving it a actual project name and then saving it out. Once you have the project saved, then you can activate the recording mode once your instrument's plugged in and op this opens the audio channel for the DAW to start recording. Once we have our input into our DAW, we can actually start and manipulate our levels inside the software. And as you can see, as I'm playing the guitar into the uh, DAW, we have our levels going up and down, and you want it around halfway. As soon as your levels are okay, then we can actually activate the metronome or the click and count in feature and then press record once you're ready to start inputting. Here you can see I'm actually starting to get some waveforms in, inputted into the DAW as I'm playing the guitar into the software. And then we can actually, once we're finished, press the record button again or the space bar to stop recording. And then we can actually play it back as you'll demonstrate now. You can go into the folder that you've now saved onto the hard drive, and you can actually see the recorded tracks that you've put in there. Um, these will be saved in the uh, particular file format. In this case, it's an AIF. And once we've actually saved everything out, that is pretty much it done for that single track. Okay, that's us done. Um, thank you for your watching and I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to uh, seeing the reviews of the work that I've done here today. Thank you.